My name is Brent Glover. I play for the band Belsis and also a new coming band called Obelisk. And I've had a couple of people ask me different questions about what gear I'm using and things like that, or basses. So I thought I'd just do a quick little rundown and go from there. So I'm just going to keep it short and we'll go from there. So we're going to start with the basses. Um, I play, that's my dog. I play Ibanez basses pretty much exclusively. I've been using them for a good 13 years now. Um, this main one here that I'm using is my favorite one. Um, it's a Sound Gear bass. It's the SR706 model, I believe. Another cool thing that I like about them is it's actually got uh, Bartolini pickups inside of them, and it just makes it sound awesome. It has like a mid range boost. That's very, very cool. So, yeah, that's the bass. Just, I don't know, it's my favorite bass so far. Um, and as far as gear, I'm a huge TC Electronic fan. Um, I got into them about a year ago, and I have had not had one complaint since. Um, so, and for me, I'm not a big rig kind of guy, like 810 cab and things like that. Um, I just like a small rig because to me it's just more about, you know, the sound and, and playing than like what's on the stage and everything like that. No offense to the guys that use 810 cabs and, you know, big rigs, things like that, but this is just me. Um, so with the cab, um, this is the, the, the RS410 cab. Uh, you know, lightweight, very powerful, and just sounds great overall. Yeah, it's had its war wounds, but man, this thing is just a truck. So I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, next, we're going to do the amp. This is the RH250 uh, amp. Um, a great thing about it is it's very lightweight, but very powerful at the same time. And then also a good thing is it also has the, like, uh, direct out. Um, sorry, there we go. And also it's just like a great practice kind of thing too because you can put in your headphones and also put in an auxiliary cord so you can you know plug your phone into it and just jam you know silently along with using all the tone prints and things like that so it's a very cool thing it's it's relatively inexpensive and just sounds great and all the capabilities you have with tone print is just phenomenal so um, along with that i have the tc helicon uh, switch pedal it has a mute and also has um, buttons to switch between two different tone prints because when you have just one tone print on here, that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, but if you have the Helicon pedal, from what I've noticed, is you, you can actually have two saved tone prints into the amp. And they can switch back, you know, back and forth between them. So for me, I like to have a bit of an overdrive with compression um, for one side. And then the other side, I like to use like a chorus or just normal compression. It just kind of depends on what I'm doing. So that's a big thing there um, that I'm super stoked about. The big thing I'm really happy about is this Flashback X4 pedal, again by TC Electronic. Uh, this thing is amazing. It's worth every every dime that you can put towards it. Um, not only does it have all these different kind of uh, you know reverb and things like that, it also has a built-in looper, which is pretty awesome, especially when you can use all these different things and you know go from there. And here's just like a little example that I did earlier today. Um, let's see here. So yeah, that's that. Um, I, don't know, I don't know why, but it makes me think of like Super Metroid, the Super Nintendo game, but whatever. That's just me. Um, another really cool thing about this is um, the tone print capabilities on this thing are just phenomenal because you don't know what tone print is. It's pretty much where some of the top players will, you know, sit down with the, you know, TC Electronic guys and then make their own sounds is, you know, per pedal. And you can get these awesome sounds and then, you know, immediately just put them into the unit itself. So for me, one of the big things that I have, and I'm a huge fan of him, is Yannick Wizdala. Amazing bass player. If you don't know who he is, check him out. Because that guy is just beyond insane with, you know, playing and, you know, uh, musicianship and things like that. So I actually have one of his tone prints in here because I once I heard it, it's like, that's just amazing. I got to have that. So I've been messing around with my own ones too, um, but you know, for soloing things like that, I just stick with that Yannick Wizdala one because it just uh, it sounds so good. So on top of that, it has the built-in looper, and it's just really, really cool. So it just gives you a lot of uh, I don't know. It it just really helps out with practicing or coming with ideas and you know things like that. So, but that's pretty much it though. It's just a small little rig, uh, but super powerful. And as far as shows, it just kind of depends on what I'm doing. If I'm playing just like a local little, you know, cafe or something like that, um, I'll bring the cab, you know, with me. If I'm doing kind of like a bigger show, um, I usually uh, put the stuff in like a, just a little pedal board. 
and just go straight out, direct out with the, the amp and go from there. But yeah, it sounds great. So, but yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, just feel free to ask me and we'll go from there. Take it easy, guys.